If you asked me in high school what I was going to be when I grow up, I never would have said astronaut. I might have said engineer, I might have said scientist, I might have said doctor, but not astronaut. But then something happened. I got inspired. And the main thing I want to talk to you about today is the combination of both inspiration and determination and the magic that can happen when those two things come together. So what happened was I was an undergraduate at University of Pennsylvania and I got a hold of some of the biographies of the current astronauts, the ones that they had just selected. And this will date myself again, I found this in a magazine. This is a thing that was like paper that you open up and it has pictures and words in there and you don't, you don't swipe, you, you actually fold it open. <laughs> and I looked in there and I saw that what these astronauts had done, both in their education and in their careers, was pretty much the same thing I was doing. They got advanced degrees in engineering. I was about to go off to Caltech to study mechanical engineering. They were flying airplanes, which is a passion of mine, something I always wanted to do. As soon as I got up enough money and enough distance between myself and my mom that she wouldn't know about it. So, so I realized that, hey, you know, I had this epiphany. Maybe this is within the realm of possibility. So I went down to the bookstore, and that, that, there was my inspiration, right? But inspiration alone is not enough. It has to be coupled with determination. I went down to the bookstore at Penn, and I bought this poster. This is a picture of the, the Earthrise. This was taken on Apollo 8 by a guy named Bill Anders when he saw, and they were supposed to be looking, by the way, at the back side of the moon. It's not the, people call it the dark side of the moon. It's, 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 Half the time it's lit up as bright as the other side, right? You know that, right? But it's, so it's not really the dark side of the moon, but it's the back side of the moon that nobody had ever seen before because the moon always faces the same side of itself to Earth. So nobody ever has seen it from the back. And they were looking down and staring and taking pictures of the lit up back side of the moon when this guy Bill Anders said to Lovell and Borman, he said, hey, I see something, hand me a camera. And Lovell said, do you want the Hasselblad? Do you want the Nikon? He said, just give me any camera. And he, and he took this picture. Fortunately, the film was right, the f-stop was right, and he got this amazing picture, which is one of the most powerful legacies of the Apollo program was not looking at the, earth, uh, at the moon, but looking back at the Earth. And seeing it here for the first time is that blue marble suspended in the black void of space. And this is, is credited with, this one photo is credited with starting the entire environmental movement and viewing our home in a whole new light. And so I went down and I got this poster and I hung it up above my desk in my dorm room. And whenever I was having a difficult time, whether it be preparing for final exams, doing my senior class project, whenever it was getting difficult and tough, I always had this in front of me as a beacon right above my desk. And I said to myself that one day, I'm gonna hang this poster in the astronaut office at the Johnson Space Center. And one day I did. And in fact, that poster is still with me. This is the uh, actual poster. is now above my desk at SpaceX. So the idea was that I always had my goal in front of me. And it wasn't a small goal. Becoming an astronaut, I knew was going to be really, really hard and highly improbable. In fact, most people told me it was going to be impossible. But that didn't serve to discourage me, that challenged me. And I went out and I made it happen. And I hung that up in the astronaut office, it's now in SpaceX. And one day, Bill Anders came by for a visit at SpaceX, I gave him a tour and I told him this whole story and he signed the, the bottom left corner of that for me, he thought it was so cute. 